MCTP team, this is Chaplain Mark Morgan. I'm here today. I've got the honor of standing with Sergeant Major Hood. Uh, we're doing a Ready Resilient campaign talking about the Army values and how they affect our formations. One of the things that we're asking uh, the Sergeant Major today is we're going to talk about the first iteration or the first Army value that we have is called loyalty. And that's our, our leadership acronym. The first one is L for loyalty. Sergeant Major Hood's going to talk a little bit about what his definition is today, but I want to read you the Army definition of loyalty from the Army.mil website. Loyalty, it says, bear true faith and allegiance to the U.S. Constitution, the Army, your unit, and other soldiers. Bearing true faith and allegiance is a matter of believing in and devoting yourself to something or someone. A loyal soldier is one who supports the leadership, stands up for fellow soldiers. By wearing the uniform of the U.S. Army, you're expressing your loyalty, and by doing your share, you show your loyalty to the unit. So, Sergeant Major Hood, I've got three questions for you today. Uh, what is your personal definition of loyalty? Second thing, what's the best example you've seen of that Army value actually applied in your career, across the span of your career? And finally, how can we apply this Army value in the MCTP to ensure that our fellow soldiers and civilians know that they're appreciated and respected? Sergeant Major Hood. Sir, uh, thank you for the question. Um, my personal definition of loyalty uh, would probably be you know, being true, being dedicated, um, and committed to something or someone. And that's the interesting thing about the Army is that um, you can be committed to the army, or you can be committed to leadership, uh, and things like that. So it, it can it opens it up quite a bit that has a large impact in uh, in other areas. Um, as far as the best example uh, throughout my career, it was actually not too long ago. Uh, I had one of my soldiers who had a, a kind of a blow up with their leadership, and um, could have gone one of two ways. And luckily, it went the better way. It. Uh, she could have blown, blown up back at the situation, at the leader, and um, it would have definitely deteriorated the relationship. Um, instead, she chose her loyalty over the unit, instead her loyalty to the unit over that particular leader, and uh, she went and addressed the chain of command and was able to diffuse everything, and it went out and ended up building a relationship instead of deteriorating one. Uh, so her loyalty to the unit was definitely uh, true, if you will, and it was, um, it ended up building better relationships instead of deteriorating them, I and I think that that's, that's definitely a quality of loyalty, and, and she addressed that right there. Um, and as far as the, the third question, sir, what was that again? How do you apply, how can we apply it in MCTP so that our fellow soldiers and civilians know that they're respected and appreciated in their, in their jobs? Yes, sir. Um, so at MCTP especially, you know, we, we work and we travel and we're distant a lot, and um, our loyalty to our unit and our loyalty to, uh, to each other know, helps each other know that we're able to get through anything together. And if we stay together, then we're not gonna have any, um, any of the minor issues that might flare up, and then we, we're gonna be able to take care of each other. And uh, like I said, be loyal, be true to each other. And uh, that'll help eliminate any of those bad thoughts or any of those negative actions that might come out of something. It, it'll prevent it from the start. All right, well, thank you very much, Sergeant Major Hood. I appreciate your time today, those words of encouragement. Yes, and I would ask that all of you that are watching this, that uh, you take this and say, hey, how can I apply loyalty in my life? Where does that start? Is it loyalty to my family, loyalty to my mission, loyalty to my faith? Whatever that is that you apply loyalty in your life and see that it is going to cause us to know that we can honor and respect each other and our differences. Uh, thank you very much from our traveling road team. Uh, this is Chaplain Martin Morgan signing out. <laughs>